All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahawa by Hashem Shai. Give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone at Rule Well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This Mark is from the Trend at Camp. So I want to do all the edification you know, for the sake of the elect. Um, this video, I believe I will call it Simon the Cyrenian. Israel is a scattered sheep. All right? Because, you know, people like to think that, you know, everybody, that the only, the only, that only people that in Israel or, the, or in the land of Jerusalem were Israelites. All right? That it didn't have Jews outside the land of Israel. And once it was outside the land of Israel, it was a heathen. No, it wasn't so. The Gentiles who Paul and the other apostles went and speak to well, who were Israelites that didn't know they were Israelites or Gentiles in the flesh were well, not Gentiles in the flesh but Gentiles in the mind going back to Romans 12 they were Gentiles in the mind that didn't know they were Israelites all right who followed the customs of the other Gentiles the natural Gentiles all right but now we're gonna focus on Simon the Cyrenian all right just to prove that Simon was in fact an Israelite all right it says matthew chapter 26 verse 1 and it came to pass when yahweh shall finish all these sayings he said unto his disciples ye know that after two days is the feast of the passover and the son of man is betrayed to be crucified all right so here in matthew chapter 26 we see yahweh shall talking about the um the passover so is it is the time of the passover all right and going down the uh, all right here here goes i go to um verse jump down to verse 25 then judas which betrayed him answered and said master it is i he said unto him thou hast said and as they were eating yahweh took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to his disciples and said take eat this is my body and he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying drink ye all of it for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for many in the remissions of sins all right so now showing that they, they keep in the passover the point we're bringing out is this time frame here is the time of the passover the feast of unleavened bread all right a seven day feast daisy daisy feast of unleavened bread all right and this was around the same time yahweh shy was what was crucified this the same time frame all right um i'll jump down yeah jump down to verse 52 days after the age of verse 51 and behold one of them which were with Yahweh Shai stretched out his hand and drew his sword, which was Peter, and struck his servant of the high priest and smote his ear. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Alright? So now this was when they took Yahweh Shai. And we all know going on, you know, they're going to bring him to the trial. They're going to persecute him wherever the case is. So now I'm gonna go a little further down, just jumping down. I start at verse um, 29. And when they had plated a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his hand and said, In his hand, and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him in the head. And after they had mocked him, they took the rope off of him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to be crucified. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, who um, him they compelled to bear his cross. So that is showing that Yahweh Shai never took his cross because when you go through the scriptures, they're showing you that from you know, they, they, they persecuting and mocking Yahweh Shai, they, they bid simon the cyrenian to carry the cross see how shine never laid hands on the cross all right anyways 
But the point here now is showing that they took Simon the Cyrenian and made him bear the cross. Alright. You look up the word Cyrene. It says what? A native of Cyrene. Alright. Cyrene, Cyrenian. Alright. So now, you had to ask yourself the question. Why was Simon the Cyrenian in Jerusalem at that time? This is Deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 16. It says, Three times in a year shall all thy males appear before Yahweh thy God in the place which he shall choose, in the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which is the Passover, and in the Feast of Weeks, all right, which is the first fruit or Pentecost, and in the Feast of Tabernacle, which is the Feast of Tabernacle coming up. All right, and they shall not appear before Yahweh empty. So, the reason Simon the Cyrenian was in Jerusalem at that time, because why? Because he came to keep the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which is the Passover. All right. This is um. Acts chapter 2, verse 7. It says, And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born? Parthians and Medes and Elamites and dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and in Cappadocia, in Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, in Egypt and in parts of Libya, about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes. So now, when you read high up in verse 1, they came to keep the feast of Pentecost, which when you go back to De um, Deuteronomy 16, it says three times a year, for the um, um, all the males shall appear before the Lord, for the Passover, for the Feast of Weeks, and the Feast of Tabernacles. Another name for the Feast of Weeks is the Feast of Pentecost. That is why all these Israelites from different lands came to Jerusalem during that time. They were not gentiles or other nations that came to jerusalem just at a whim no they were israelites living in those land that came to keep the feast all right but focusing on cyrene all right because simon was a cyrenian let me look up the word cyrene it says what cyrene supremacy of of the bridal a large and flourishing city of libya cyrenica or Petapolitana, about 11 miles, seven, 17 kilometers from the sea. Among its inhabitants were a great number of Jews. All right, a great number of Jews. So it had Jews living in, um, in Cyrene, in Libya. All right, whom Ptolemy the first had brought there and invested with the right of citizens. So now it had a large amount of Israelites that were dwelling in the land of Cyrene. All right, it had a large amount of Israelites that were living in Cyrene. So that just showing that I guess what Simon wasn't just a random traveler; he was actually a man that came on came on pilgrimage from Cyrene to keep the Lord's Passover. He knew he was an Israelite. This is Cyrene in the um, Wikipedia dictionary. It says it was an ancient Greek and Roman city near present-day Shahat, Libya. It was the oldest of and most important of five Greek cities in the region, it gave Eastern Libya the classical name Cyrenica that it um, has that it has retained to the modern times. All right, so I'm going down. Um, We're down to the Roman period. It says in 74 BC, Cyrene was created a Roman province. But whereas under the Ptolemies, the Jewish inhabitants had enjoyed equal rights, they were allegedly increasingly oppressed by the now autonomous and much larger Greek population. So even in Wikipedia, it's showing that in Cyrene had a large Israelite population. Tension came to ahead in the insurrection of the Jew Jews of Cyrene under Vespasian 73 AD, the first Roman Jewish war, and especially 
Trajan in 117 AD, the Kitos War. This revolt was quelled by Marcus um, Marcius Torbo, but not before huge numbers of civilians had been brutally massacred by the Jewish rebels. According to Eusebius of Caesarea, the Jewish rebellion left Libya so depopulated so much an extent that a few years later new colonies had to be established there by the emperor hadrian just be just to maintain the vi um, vi viability of continued settlements all right so it's showing around the time of the greeks going to the time of the romans which during the time of the romans that was when the lord was there that it had a large amount of israelites living in the land of cyrene so Simon the Cyrenian, all right, and I'll show you a video clip just now. Simon the Cyrenian, just like they show in video clips that you know, all the Israelites, you know, pale skin and Simon the Cyrenian was dark skin. No, not because he was living in the land of Africa, meant that he was an African. No, he was an Israelite. All right, he was an Israelite. Not the Passover is only for Israel. No, no other nation could keep the Passover. All right. No other nation could keep the Lord's Passover. The reason Simon the Cyrene was in Jerusalem at that time, he came to keep the Passover, he being an Israelite. Alright? This is, um, it says Israel Institute of Biblical Studies blog. It says Jews of Ancient Cyrene and the Gospel by proof by Professor Peter um, Shirokov. E teacher biblical it says there were four classes of men among those of cyrene that of citizens that of husbandmen the third of strangers and the fourth of jews now these jews were already gotten into all cities and it is hard to find a place in the habitable earth in the aratazah all right there is a hebrew word in the habitable earth that had not admitted this tribe of men and it is not possessed by them all right and this 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 quote was by historian starbo quoted by josephus so you should have guess what it had israelites in all lands all right israel is a scattered sheep jeremiah 50 17 all right it says during the second temple period many jews live outside israel and the city of cyrene in north africa was one of the major diaspora centers all right so should it had jews living in cyrene the presence and the influence of jews of cyrene is reflected in several new testament passages most famous is the service of a jewish man from cyrene named simon all right so even research showing that simon the cyrenian was an israelite and not a, a, a so-called hamite all right a so-called african all right who carried um, Yahweh Shai Cross, Matthew 27, 32, Mark 15, 21, Luke 23, 26. Many assume that Simon was an African and there, and there are many depictions of Simon of Cyrene in the church iconography um, as a dark-skinned man. It is most likely, however, that, which he was dark-skinned, but guess what? All Israel was dark-skinned, all right? Um, is most likely however that he was not a native of africa but settled there as thousands of other jews did his business in jerusalem was most likely the traditional passover pilgrimage second chronicles um 30 and 1 john 11 55 simon was a bystander pilgrim who was drafted by the romans to carry the burden of yahushai um the word Yahweh I could not. It, it um it was not unusual for Jewish pilgrims from Cyrene to come to Jerusalem. Jews of Cyrene were among the pilgrims who heard Peter's moving speech during the Feast of Weeks or Pentecost, just as I said, in Jerusalem in Acts 2 and 10. Going back to where I just read I why all these people from all these nations were in Jerusalem. They came to keep the Lord's feast, the feast of, of weeks. All right, it is possible that Jews from Cyrene had their own synagogue in the first century Jerusalem. In the book of Acts, we read how representatives of Cyrene, Jewish diaspora, 
who belonged to the synagogue of the free men opposed Stephen in Jerusalem, Acts 6 and 9. See also the post on the synagogue by the free men. All right? All right, so that is basically it. So it's just showing that, guess what? It have Jews that were scattered throughout the northern coast of Africa. All right? And throughout Asia, Asia um, throughout further in the east, Elam. All right? So Israel is a scattered sheep. But sticking on the point of Simon the Cyrenian, because they love to show Simon the Cyrenian of a different ethnicity than the Hebrews when they're watching these movies, which is basically to trip people's mind. Simon the Cyrenian was in fact an Israelite that kept that came to keep the um the Lord's um Passover. Alright. Um Alright, this is um I was hoping I could probably get this bigger but you know I can't all right it says Ptolemy the first son of Lagos exiled many people of Israel to Cyrene and other parts of Africa um, or what was then called Libya Josephus chapter 11 4 because the continuous persecution by the Romans and the Greeks and later by the Arabs Many of the numerous Israelite concentrations in Cyrene crossed the desert to the inner parts of Libya and put. They made a yearly journey to Jerusalem for the Passover and other feasts. Just and the scriptures backing up. Alright? While their brothers who went into the hinterland of Africa were not always were, were not um not have always been able to return, many Jews from Libya and specifically Cyrene returned to the feast at Jerusalem in New Testament time these African descendants of Israel from Cyrene came to occupy a prominent place in Christianity the relationship between the church and the contribution of Africans to the Christian faith must begin with the presence of the Israelites in the land of Cush Mizraim Egypt and put so it shouldn't have Israelites in Egypt which be more most likely would have been Alexandria, Egypt, because it had a large concentration of Israelite in the land of Egypt. All right. With whom they intermingled. Surely many of Yahweh's acquaintances were Africans. He lived his early years in Egypt, most likely Upper Egypt, which would have been where Israel was scattered. All right. An Israelite of African birth, just like Paul was an Israelite of Rome, but he was born in the land of Rome. All right, an Israelite of African birth, a man of Cyrene named Simon, was caught by the Roman soldiers and compelled to bear the cross of Yahweh Shai. Matthew 27 32. Compare Mark 15 21, Luke 23 26. On the day of Pentecost, at the birth of the church, Israelites from Cyrene were among those present. In um, their cities appears as one of the important points in the wide circle of the dis- um, dispersion described by Peter in his sermons, Acts 2 and 10. Many African Jews from Libya, Northwest Africa, were prominent enough in the days of the apostles to have been benefactors of the synagogue at Jerusalem, Acts 6 and 9. Some of these African Jews of Cyrene were among the leaders of the church at Antioch. They preached the gospel to the members of the house of Israel and among the Greeks. Greeks were going to go back to the Grecians, which were Israelites that was Israelites that spoke Greek, that took up the Greek custom. Acts 11, 19 to 20. When he said that they spoke the word to none but the Jews only. It says the and this just backing up showing that the Lord only came for, for Israelites that was scat, scattered and the Israelites that was the one here. The scriptures say unto all Israel that are near and that are far off. Going back to Daniel. Alright. It says the remains of this great um, African village are mainly in some of the great tombs built by the people reminiscent to their connection with the, to the African civilization 
which blossomed in ancient Egypt. Um, Africans from these areas contributed sig significantly to the growth of the church. So it just showed, and I guess what? The people that were living in the land of Africa that came to Jerusalem for the feast, they were Israelites. And running off the point of Simon the Cyrene, Simon the Cyrene was an Israelite. That is why he was in Jerusalem during the time of the Lord's crucifixion. He came to keep the Lord's Passover. Alright? So there's um, a little clip from the greatest story ever told. Alright? With Simon the Cyrenian. Now, if you could see clearly, they're showing you how to share with the world. So called Jesus carrying the cross, and there you have Simon helping him. Alright, but the one who people ignorantly call Jesus, if you can see his complexion, his complexion, he looked like a, like a so called white man, an Edomite. And Simon the Cyrenian depicted as a dark skinned man. Alright? And people believe that because it's Simon the Cyrenian was from Africa. But guess what? Even the second president of Egypt told you that Israel and Egypt will never have peace because they left black and came back white. So all Israel was dark skinned. So the only thing wrong about this picture is that Yahweh Shai depicted as white because Sim Simon the Cyrene and that is his true complexion, dark skin. But in the movies they show you like it's two different nations. But it wasn't two different nations, it was one nation. Alright, Simon the Cyrene came to Jerusalem to keep the, keep the feast. Alright. Going back to the scriptures. This is um Mark. We go to Mark. Mark fifteen and verse twenty one. It says, and they compelled one Simon, a Cyrenian, which you already proved that at a large amount of Israelites living in the land of Cyrene, who passed by, coming out of the country, the father of Alexander, and Rufus to bear his cross. So now we're going to go into these two names, the father of Alexander and Rufus. So let me look up Alexander and Rufus. Alright? Because it wasn't there for no reason. Alright? So let me look up Alexander. Alexander, man defender, defender of man, the son of Simon the Cyrene, who carried the cross of Yahushai. A man, a certain man of the kindred of the priests, a certain Jew. Right? Alexander was a man... That what? That was one of the apostles. And from, from what we know, they, no other nation could be an apostle of the Lord. Rufus read, name of a certain Christian. Alright? Now some people might say, guess what? The Christians could be any people. The scriptures, the, 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 the scriptures talk about the Gentiles. So a Christian could be any people. All right, so let me go. Let me go to the scriptures and see what the scriptures have to say. All right, this is um Romans sixteen verse thirteen. It says, "Salute Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother and mine." So now it's saying chosen of the Lord. The scriptures said that all they were all chosen. Going back to the elect. 144,000 the elect is Israel. Alright? So for Rufus to be an apostle of the Lord, Rufus had to have been an Israelite. And if Rufus is an Israelite, you sure as hell know that his father, Simon, was an Israelite. Right? Bring out this other scripture here. There's Acts. Acts 19. Acts 19. Verse 33. There's Alexander, the son of Simon the Cyrenian. Acts 19 verse 33 And they drew Alexander out of the multitude The Jews putting him forward And Alexander beckoned with the hand And would have made his defense unto the people But when they knew that he was a Jew All with one voice about the space of two hours cried out Great is, the, is Diana 
of the Ephesians. But the point is, says, but when they knew that he was a Jew, when they knew that Alexander was a Jew, and going back to Numbers 118, you decree a pedigree by your father. So for Alexander to be a Jew, his father had to be a Jew. So Simon the Cyrenian was in fact an Israelite. He was a Hebrew Israelite that came to Israel to keep the Passover of the Lord. He was not a man of another nation. He was not a so-called African. He was an Israelite that lived outside the land of Israel. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Give double honors to the apostles of great millstone that rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. I hope this video was edifying. And until next time, say Shalom.